The drawn out fight of Disney versus DeSantis, the board overseeing Disney's special taxing district appointed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is suing the House of Mouse just a week after Disney filed a lawsuit against DeSantis to stop punishing the company for Disney's protected speech. So how exactly did we get here? Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Canal is here to break it all down. Allie. Hey, Shauna, and this Disney DeSantis battle, it's shaping up like a classic Disney tale with the hero, a villain, depending on which side you look at it. But it all stems back to last year when Florida introduced the Parental Rights and Education Act, otherwise known as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Then CEO Bob Chapek initially decided not to speak publicly on the matter, but faced intense backlash from the company and its employees. He eventually reversed course, which angered DeSantis and triggered the fallout scene today. Let Less than one month later, though, DeSantis signs that bill into law, creating a deeper divide between Disney and the state. Chapik, of course, he's still in that CEO position, still dealing with disappointment from employees. And little does he know that this will be one of many factors leading to his ousting in November. One month later, DeSantis signs that bill, stripping Disney of its self-governing status, known as a special tax district, Reedy Creek. At the time, there were many questions about how this would play out who would handle these tax payments. Flash forward to 2023, and we finally have some of those answers. Now, this is where the drama really heats up. We have a new CEO and Bob Iger and a whole new set of problems. On February 10th, the Florida Senate approves a bill to dissolve Reedy Creek, setting up DeSantis to be in control of that board. Now, later that month, on February 27th, DeSantis signs that bill into law, gaining control over the district and appointing that controversial five-member board. Reedy Creek it is no longer. It is now known as the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. Then, after undisclosed last-minute meetings on the side of Disney, a 11th hour proposal to basically circumvent the authority of that board, DeSantis fired back, threatening taxes, a state prison, possibly another theme park. He also proposed legislation to have Disney go through more inspections of its parks prompting Disney to sue that bombshell lawsuit coming last week with Disney alleging the governor launched a quote targeted campaign of government retaliation threatening its free speech and then on Monday less than one week later we had the board counter suing Disney to avoid quote backroom deals favorable to the media giant now what happens next that largely remains to be seen, but unlike those Disney stories that you and I know and love, this likely won't have a happy ending, Shauna. Certainly not, and the feud doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Ali Canal, great stuff, breaking all of that down.